Hi, so really fancy a nice Vietnamese coffee today. Now I've got my Chung Nguyen Vietnamese coffee, which smell is glorious. Camera person, just have a smell and tell me what you smell. Chocolate. Chocolate, it smells chocolatey. Doesn't taste chocolatey, but it, it's a glorious smell. However, to do that, you put that into your little Vietnamese. We've got these in Hanoi, I think. Okay, you've got holes in there. They rest on the cup, like that. You put your coffee in, and you press down with that, and then it drips through. Problem is, the Chung Wing seems to be just the wrong size of grain, so it takes forever to go through that, it doesn't really work. But also, I've got to make three of them now, and we don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna cheat. So this is the cheat's guide to a cafe soir, to a Vietnamese coffee. So there's my mug. There's my Tassimo, one of three, one in the bedroom, one here, one in the cupboard as a spare. Actually one in five, because there's one at Al's, there's one at my parents as well. First thing you do with a Vietnamese coffee is you get your condensed milk. Now, this is Nescafe Azera from the old days when I used to be um, an instant coffee drinker. Lid, fits perfectly. You make your two triangular holes on your thing, whack in, a bunch of condensed milk. It's a pity I'm not at Al's because then we could use the glass mugs and you could see. So here we go. Al, do you want to come and have a look? So I've covered the bottom with a few mil of condensed milk. Okay, we're now going to whack that in and instead of dripping through, okay, it's just going to do the normal. Now, here's what I prepared earlier, which is Al's one. Now, if you come and zoom in on this, please, Al. You see, it's black, yeah? See through the foam, it's just black. That's because the condensed milk's at the bottom. So we now stir this. Because, of course, hot climate like Southeast Asia, fresh milk will go off quite quick, okay, if it's not refrigerated. So they have this now. That is good. Now, we've obviously drank it in Saigon. I mean that first morning, that first one that guy made just outside the hotel on his little mm. cart was amazing. Nice well. It was the best coffee I ever had in my life. Now what do you reckon on that? Nice, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. That's good. It's sweeter because the coffee's not as strong. Yep, okay. And but there's nice. a there's a lot of um condensed milk in there too mm. as well. We can of course put an espresso in. Mm. Okay, which I might do. I'll do that on this one and then we can compare yeah but that's literally it so that'll be good to show that so that's my normal coffee done I've gone for a Law XL Classic um, you could do it with a Costa or whatever whichever one you prefer carnation condensed milk I'm going for a Law Espresso Delicioso that's a five percent so you whack it in I mean this is a game changer Tassimo's are a game changer really you get good quality coffee good tasty coffee with no effort at all well you can hear it bubbling away so that's done so we've got the espresso and the other one so if you give that a stir and then uh, tell me how that compares to your other one yeah As it finishes just about there a few more dribbles bitch bash i'm gonna probably Bosh. burn myself now be. Yeah, it's better. That's better. Yeah, yeah I think that what happened. Yeah, I put too much condensed milk in, in maybe. Have you tried? Um, yeah, because I've I've tried both. I think you can you can do that. Okay. Oh, we've got a bit of a Ho Chi Minh thing going on here. I'm going to have a shave in about five minutes' time. I do apologise. Look, it's a scruffy. Yeah, that's good. Very nice.